All right, folks, welcome to the Howling Wolf Permistad. Today, I'm going to introduce you to a Lanes style hive. Now, this particular Lanes style hive is based off of two medium Langstroth frames that are glued together on their bottom sides and then orientated into the vertical position. You're currently looking at the side of the hive. I'll roll around here. Now the hive itself, the body, is 24 inches deep. I've got three inches of insulation on the bottom. It's obviously a solid bottom board. And then the sides have one and a half insulation, uh, one and a half inches of foam insulation. And then the top has three inches of foam insulation as well. Again, the box is 24 inches deep. This makes it easy for construction using plywood and not having to make a whole lot of wacky cuts. I'm gonna move around to the front and stand by. All right, we're at the front of the hive now. As you see, it's hinged at the front. So, the, you know, you can open your top really easily from the back and not have to worry about the bees bothering you. The front has two openings. Uh, the openings are one and, a, one and a quarter inch openings. I've got the discs on there. I absolutely love the discs. And if you noticed, there is not a landing board. Why? Trees don't have landing boards. It also makes it a little bit e or less um, easy for a small hive beetle to get in. Small hive beetles cannot hover. So with the landing board, it's a little bit easier for them to get in the hive. Whereas this style makes it a little more difficult for the small hive beetle to get in and do its damage. It's also easier for the bees to defend the small opening as, to, as opposed to big long slots across the front. I usually have one side open and one side in a vented position throughout the summer. And then I close up the one side um, during the winter. All right, let me put you on pause and we'll move to the back of the hive. All right, so here we are at the back of the hive. First thing you notice, there's a nice latch. That latch is there to uh, keep little hands out and keep big bear mitts out as well. Eh, mostly I would think. Down in this lower portion, there's a small copper quarter inch pipe or a port that you can use if you want to use oxalic acid as a treatment system. Or the, uh, it is only designed for the um, fogger that has a little quarter inch uh, tip. It's the more expensive fogger, uh, but it's very efficient and quick and would be the one I would recommend using. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and open up the hive real quick and I'm gonna show you two different frames. One's gonna be a foundation frame and the other one's gonna be foundationless. I'll be right back. All right, so here's our, found, or our frames. Again, this is a lane style um, hive, but based off of two medium Langstroth frames that are glued with, to their bottoms and orientated in the vertical position. The frame to the left is obviously a foundation frame. This is the easiest frame to build. Literally, it's cut, glue, uh, clamp, and call it a day. Now you do use that center portion that's cut out. The bees will eventually fill that, uh, but you use the wood of, of on that to brace the bottom between the ears. The top, the ears are cut off. The bottom, the ears are left on. And you use that little extra piece in there, glue it to the bottom, and it helps as part of the support structure. Over to the right is the foundationless frame. Same type of construction. Ears are cut off at the top, bottom are left on. You use the same, the, the piece in the middle. What I would recommend is when you're gluing up, see the two inch, those two little nubs? That's the only area you want to glue. Leave that strip free of glue. And then you, after you cut it, you snap those two pieces, and that way you have those two pieces to utilize for your construction. 
All right, back over to the foundationless frame. This is, this is nice, and you might be asking, why would I use a foundationless frame? Well, when it comes to honey harvest, this is super simple. I own an Italian honey press that I got off of horizontalhives.com. This honey press is amazing. You literally cut out your cut out your honey, or your comb, stick it in the press, squeeze it down, honey comes out, and it leaves you with a nice bit of um, of wax that you can utilize for all kinds of other crafty crafty things. I particularly make candles with it. But very very simple. I do recommend if you're going to use this system that you use probably two or three frames that have foundation for your starter. Get, let the bees kind of get going on what they need to do. And then you switch switch over to all the rest of them would be foundationless frames. Now with the foundationless frames, the bees do get to build their own, their own uh, um, comb to, the, to their liking. They can build it however they need. They need drones or they need worker comb. It's all up to, to them, not us. We don't have to dictate to them anymore. All right, I'm gonna show you, speaking of drones, I'm going to show you a drone trap frame and then a conversion frame. All right, as promised, a drone trapping frame and a conversion frame. The frame on the left is the, is the drone trapping frame. It's a specially designed frame with a bigger cell. Um, it is actually approved by the USDA for mite control. The premise is that you, that you, put, this, you put this frame in and the queen will lay drones in this frame. You take the frame out after 24 to 25 days, and that's key That's key and crucial. You take the frame out, you freeze it for 24 to 48 hours, killing both the drones and the mites within the drone cells. Again, it is crucial that you take this frame out at the 24 day mark. Otherwise, you're just breeding mites. Now, to the right is a conversion frame. It is a standard Langstroth deep with the ears still attached, as you can see. This allows you, if you decide you want to convert for whatever reason, you can use all of your old equipment. Your deeps and your mediums are usable within this lanes frame style or system. The nice thing is, again, it is a 24 inch box. Obviously the frames are only 18. But that gives you about two inches of play underneath the frames that the bees can utilize for recreation space and doing whatever they do. And you might say, well, they're going to build burr comb. I haven't seen it yet. I've been using this style of um, or using this system for a year and I've I haven't seen them build burr comb in the bottom two inches of of the of the uh, box. So there again, you've got your drone trapping frame, which is used in your integrative pest management system approved by the USDA for mite control. And then you have your conversion frame using a Langstroth deep frame. All right, next up on the list of frames, this one is basically is a follower board or follower frame. The frame is designed to basically reach to the bottom minus a three quarter inch. That way the bees can kind of go back and forth underneath this frame. What it's designed to do is it's designed to manage the volume of the box. You can make it three frame, or you can go to the extended 20 frames that are in this box. This particular lay-in style box has 20 frames plus the follower board. Follower board's also insulated with an inch and a half of insulation. Therefore, I don't have to do anything extra. I don't have to put in straw or put in a moisture blanket or anything because everything is insulated. Bottom, top, and side. It also has a little bit of venting. There's about a three quarter inch space in the attic with B escape holes that help with, uh, with the uh, ventilation and condensation. So you're asking yourself, why would I switch over to this style of box or this style of hive? The reason I, I particularly switched was because I have a bad back. Uh, I don't want to have to lift boxes. I've got bad back and actually bad knees as well. So for me, this worked out to be, was working out to be really super efficient and fairly simplistic. I also like the idea that you can store all your frames within the box itself. 
So now I don't have to take up any space storing any of my supers or any of that other stuff. Now there's nothing wrong with the Langstroth box, Langstroth system in itself. The only thing is it's a commercial system. This system here, the Lanes frame or Lanes hive, is really designed for us backyard beekeepers. These things are heavy. When I say heavy, I mean heavy. It's a probably good two, 250 pounds when it's all said and done, just the box. That's not with any bees or any honey in it. So you're asking yourself, can you make me one and ship it? Unfortunately, the answer is no. Referring back to the last, that it's freaking heavy. This thing would cost you 500 plus dollars just to ship. Now, this box is not difficult to build with some simple, some, some tool. You're going to have to have some decent tools. You know, you have to have uh, probably a, a type of a table saw, uh, a chop saw, and a couple other different things. You can get the plans for this style of hive on horizontalhives.com. However, comma, I again would stretch out that frame and the box to the box of 24 inches and the frame to 18. The Lane's frame standard is 16 inches. I live in northern in a northern climate. Actually, pretty much on the 45th parallel. It gets cold here for a long period of time. This style of box was originated in Russia and the Ukraine in zone 4 a so it's designed for cold and these style of boxes have been used for decades many decades now so they have a proven track record this is not experimental in any way shape or form it's just different it's different to we americans because we don't see this style of box too often again this is not a commercial style box i have nothing against the commercial environment i think they do a wonderful job at what they do it's just for us backyard beekeepers, this is a, a probably a more ideal system. All right, so just to reiterate, we've got a Lane's, Lane's style um, box, 24 inches deep, with utilizing two medium Langstroth frames glued together on their bottom ends and orientated into in the vertical position. This style can also be um, expanded out a little bit if you wanted to use um, all of your, your old equipment, you could actually create a brood chamber that utilizes two deeps glued together. The box would be a little bit wider. It's actually called a Lazutin style box. And then you could run all deeps if you wanted all the way across. Lazutin style boxes actually hold 25 double deep frames glued together just the same. The only problem with that is it's hard to harvest the honey. Uh, those frames currently do not have an extractor that is on the market that is big enough to, to uh, extract the honey. Therefore, I really prefer the lane style hive because the, the frames can be extracted through a universal extractor or spinner that is sold, again, on horizontalhive.com. All right, well, thank you for tuning in and uh, have a great day.